In this video, it is shown how to download and install Plan 7 Architect after purchase. I have two different downloads to choose from here, the US server and the European server, and it doesn't matter which one you download from, it's just about the speed. If one doesn't work, you can choose the other. It will just take longer. I am now choosing the European server and have clicked on it once with the left mouse button and my download has started. Now it is important to really wait for this download to finish completely and, um, only proceed once the download is completed. And, uh, the file should be 4.6 gigabytes in size. Currently, it is 4.6 gigabytes in size. Maybe in a future update, it will be larger or smaller, but it should be approximately, uh, 4 to 5 gigabytes. And, um... Normally, every customer receives the license by email after the purchase. It comes in a separate email with the license. If you have not received it, then you should maybe check the spam folder. Otherwise, you click here in your account on orders and download the invoice. The, the license code is listed on the invoice again. Here we have the license code, and only this part should be copied. First, let's go to the Downloads folder. So, we're in Downloads, and here is the downloaded zip file. I see it's 4.6 gigabytes in size. I right-click on it and select Extract All. With this, I unpack the zip folder, press Extract, and now wait, uh, until the folder is unpacked. Now the folder is unpacked and it opened in a new window for me. And I click on this folder once and right-click on Setup and Run as Administrator. This is very important so that the program has the necessary rights to uh, install all files in the correct places uh, in Windows. I accept the agreement here and click on Next and leave all settings as they are. I now receive the message that the folder already exists because I have installed it once before, but normally this message does not appear. Then I click Next again and leave all settings as they are, and at the end, I click on Install. This will take some time, we will skip over it once. Now the setup is finished and I click on Finish and open my desktop. And on my desktop, I now have an icon of the program. I double click on it and now I need to activate my license once. Here I click on Activate Your License, Activate Online, enter my license here, and click on Activate License Key. And then my program is activated. After that, I start the program normally by clicking on this icon, and it opens. Now let's get started and work with it.